eighth one in our list is called rainbow method because we draw again these arcs. So one child called it rainbow, I am calling it rainbow. And uh, this is the most important multiplication method. It is not difficult if you follow systematically and whenever you learn new techniques what you should do you should not mix your method and this method or any method when I am teaching you should follow only this method master it then compare your methods and use the best that is different when you are following this follow this method this is most useful method because this method we multiply any number not just two digit any number of digits by two digits so which is very useful so what is this rainbow method this is to multiply any number any number of digits by two digits so we shall see it you should follow it systematically listen to me there are two points you have to grasp to do this two methods techniques I will write a number now 4132 into 23 this could be 5 6 digits doesn't matter this will be 2 digits now the first rule or this thing is we start by 3 first we multiply by 3 go from right to left 3 2's 3 3's 3 1's 3 4's but every time you multiply by 3 immediately follow multiplying by 2 also so every time we multiply by 3 immediately by 2 we add them to get one answer then we move multiply by 3 multiply by 2 add them to get the next answer like that go up to the last level now second point this is important if 3 is multiplying I will write here to explain all these are only methods actual calculation we will do later suppose suppose in between somewhere the 3 is multiplying 1 we have come to that stage it multiplied 2 it multiplied 3 it has multiplied 1 when it comes to 1 now what should happen 2 should follow to multiply so 2 follows to multiply but not the 1 the previous number to the right because we are coming from here 3 when 3 multiplies 1 2 multiplies the previous number so if you are understanding it when 3 multiplies 4 what will 2 do 2 will come and multiply 1 if 3 multiplies 2 what will 2 do 3 multiplies 2 2 will come to multiply the previous number there is no number so don't multiply don't worry when there is no number don't bother these are the two techniques which we have to remember what is the first one start with 3 then by 2 here 3 and go from right to left here when 3 multiplies 2 multiplies behind these are the two points now I shall write another number and do it so 3 1 4 5 into 32 we will not draw the arrows and other things but I may suggest because these sums are in the beginning at least you will take time to think and imagine and do it in between there will always be a disturbance then you will forget where was I doing oh my god I forgot it every time you will start fresh to avoid it I will keep my fingers where I am working or I will put a dot maybe you can follow the dot finger also you may leave and get up and go the, leave the table so put a dot so you know that you have done that calculation so I am going to start with 2 and starting from the right side so 2 starts multiplying 5 2 5's 10 2 5's 10 it's obvious now what will 3 do 3 comes here nothing to multiply so 3 has no job to do so only 10 is the answer the other things are normal I put 10 carry 1 now 2 moves to the next digit is easy 2 4 8 now 3 comes to the previous digit 
So, 3 will do 5. So, 2 4 is 8, 3 5 is 15, 15 plus 8 23 plus 1 24. Now, you know the dot tells me that I have finished here, I am not confused. Now, 2 goes to the next one, 2 1s are 2, 3 4s are 12, 2 1s are 2, 3 4s are 12, 12 plus 2 14, 14 plus 2 16, 1 carried. Now obviously 2 goes to 3, 2 3 6, 3 1s are 3, 9, 9 plus 1 10, 1 carried. Now this is not the end of the story, 2 has multiplied 3. So still 2 goes outside falls down, no number to multiply like waterfalls it goes here and falls down, no job. But 3 will come behind and multiply 3, that is the closing of the multiplication. 3 3's are 9, again I repeat 2 has done 3 last time, it goes to the next number, no number, so two, some people can say 2 0 0. So I will say no number, so 2 has no job. 3 3's 9, 9 plus 1 10. So the answer is 100640. I will do one more example, I will clean this, but remember none of these arcs we will draw, we will only put dots to, to make, make sure we know what where we have worked it. So I shall do the last example, another example and uh, you follow this carefully. I will quickly do this. So, 5847 into 46. I have taken slightly larger numbers, but that should not be a problem because basic multiplication we do only one digit by digit, it is easy. So, I start now, I will not explain a lot. 6 sevens, 42. 4 has no job, so 42. 6 fours, 24. 4 sevens, 28, 24 and 28, 24, 44, 44 plus 8, 52. Just see how I add, 24 and 28, 24, 44, 44 and 8, 52. 52 plus 4, 56. Now this has been done, 6 8s, 48, 4 4 16. Just see this, 48, 58, 64, 69. Now, 6, 8, we have finished. 6, 5, 30, 4, 8, 32. 30 and 32, 62. Plus 6, 68. 6 carried. Now, 6 has finished the job. It is no more work. So, leave it. 4 continues. 4, 5, 20. And 6, 26. So the answer is 2, 6, 8, 9, 6, 2. Can you believe you have done a, such a big number in one step mentally? Yes, you can do it. Learn it. Master it. Of course, in the day you learn cycle, you cannot go on a race. So you can't do fast. But you should be able to do it within 10 seconds once you practice enough. Now, we have seen reasonable multiplications methods. Now we shall move on to 